Hey everybody, boys, last week, BK Force. Welcome to the weekly technicals for Com Dollars for Aussie Dollar, Dollar Cat, and Kiwi Dollar, April 10th to April 14th. The story in the Com Dollars is pretty much the same as it has been before. Low volatility trade, but a but a slow but steady erosion against the dollar this week. Um, it was interesting actually to see the Aussie and the Kiwi give back um, a lot of stuff. And it was actually interesting to see Dollar Cat, despite really good data set, um, come back up against the dollar. So dollar strength really um, exerting itself, despite the fact that I think more or less the commodity story is is kind of undamaged. As a matter of fact, you could make a case that most of the commodity prices have actually shut up. So there should be more support. There is relative support, I think, on a com dollar versus the uh, the majors basis. But it doesn't mean that they, that they themselves, in and of themselves, um, are looking good against the dollar. And I think that's a key takeaway. On the data set this week, we do have much more of a commodity bent than, than a major set, set bent because we have the BOC rate decision on Wednesday, which will be important. It'll be interesting to see if sort of they reaffirm the idea that despite the improving um, economic background, they intend to maintain a very, very dovish monetary policy. That could take us to 135 just simply on, on, on that um, that verbal clue alone. It'll be interesting to see if, uh, how far they want to press the uh, the low loony um, argument in front of the uh, in front of the market. So that's Wednesday. Then Wednesday night we have the employment um, numbers out of Australia. That's another interesting look. The market is actually looking for a pretty decent bounce back of 20.3. We'll see how that plays out. And also that night, just as um, important in some ways, will be the trade balance out of China. The key thing here is if if you get a kind of a one-two punch of positive employment and a decent trade uh, data out of China, Aussie does have a chance to bounce. It's coming into some very serious support here at the uh, 75 level. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing else on the calendar. It's really the, Canada and Australia is the only uh, major events this whole week, period, um, on the uh, on the data set. Let's take a look at the support levels before we get into, uh, into the charts. 75 to 77 in the Aussie. Really, 75 is the much more key level here that we're going to be trying to see how well it trades against uh, for the rest of the uh, um, for the beginning of this week. I am caddy the 135 to the upside. That's a big level. And that's something that we'll be watching post BOC or pre BOC in terms of reaction. And Kiwi really is, is just a second fiddle. It's trading at 6971. 69 is big support. We'll see if uh, it would take some, some pretty strong dollar action to break us below that. So we'll be watching that pretty carefully. Let's take a look at the uh, charts here and start with the Aussie. So Aussie really at this level. I mean, we are at 75. Uh, that's a big, big support level. It's going to be, you probably can give yourself maybe 50 points of, of grace here, but that's about it. If, it. if it if it takes more than 50 points of grace, I think um, the damage to Aussie will, will have been done significantly. Um, it really hasn't shown any significant relative strength against uh, Euro or Cable at this point because uh, the end of the day, we pretty much ended on the, on the lows of the day. We really haven't been able to hold off. This, despite the fact that yields are, are certainly not going to go down for the time being, uh, if the employment data is, is good, uh, it should be supportive. The market, though, is acting as though it doesn't like something. It's acting as though they're concerned about the Australian economy. Certainly the retail sales a couple of uh, weeks ago were um, concerning. But the market is acting like there is perhaps more trouble. And maybe it's anticipating a weaker employment number, in which case, yes, you can have a nice big crash down to the 74s here on the um, uh, on the lows. So um, worth watching. It's, it's, it's a perilous uh, case here. You really need to see... A green day here, beginning of the week. You need to see the Aussie stabilize at the seventy, between seventy four fifty and seventy five, in order to have any confidence that this level holds. Um, if we start crushing through this level, I don't, I really don't like the uh, the structure of it, and I would get much more negative uh, at this point. Dollar CAD, it's the trade the other way. Uh, the fact that again, positive data, and we and we came back off positive data. Uh, positive data to the, to the loony, meaning that it should have been, dollar cash should have been to the downside and it came back up to the upside. That's a big signal. You know, that's one of my favorite, favorite signals in, um, in FX. When you have data going one way, price action going the other way, I love to go with the price action. So I think at this point, you kind of have to position yourself long dollar cad with the, uh, what are the lows here around? Yeah, 3330, somewhere, let's say 3300 as your stop. Um, and assume that we're going to try to make an assault towards the 3500s. The second, or sort of my second pro favorite dollar trade after dollar yen is dollar cat in this sense, um, because we are we could be going into a dovish um, BOC um, and oil nothing nothing is happening. Look at oil. Oil is 52. Dollar cat couldn't care less. Could not care less. And that's a big signal that there may be more to the upside here. 
Uh, also, a big reversal candle here technically suggests that we could have more upside here. So I like dollar cap to the upside, again, showing dollar strength um, as, we, uh, as we enter the week. And then last but not least, Kiwi. Um, Kiwi, you know, following Aussie. Kiwi is, ironically enough, I actually, and we'll talk about this in the crosses, Kiwi's holding bid better than Aussie. And as long as Kiwi holds um, above the 68 um, 80 level, it may have some relative strength to the Aussie. So really worth watching. Another one of these stealth little moves that uh, we should be paying much more attention to than we are at this point. So the relative strength of Kiwi to the Aussie could be an interesting look this week as we as we start. That's how uh, the, the calm dollars shape up. Going to watch the uh, the dollar cap to the upside to 135. Seems to be the strongest trade, I think, as the week starts out. Wish you guys the best of luck, the best of trading. Borch Lonsberg, over now.